you have single-handedly for all these years, how many years have you been? 15 to 20 years. 15 to 20 yeah. years. You have single-handedly uh, pursued the project that the Rebbe really urged us to do, and that is to get kids in public school to have a moment of silence at the beginning of the day. What is your experience? What 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 is it what, what is it all about and what is it like? Well let's begin with how you got started. Why, why did you take this project? I don't know if I can answer that question directly, but it all started when I saw a gem video of the Rebbe talking about this. I'm not sure if it was the first time he talked about it or how many more times after that, I don't know. Anyway, when I saw it, I was just, I don't know if the word is overwhelmed or I was just bored by this whole, the whole idea. And I said, wow, this is, this is really something. And uh, I'd like to look into this to see if anyone's doing it, how they're doing it, you know, the common questions. So I searched around a little and I found that except for a few uh, Lubavitch teachers doing it in their classroom, nobody was doing this on a, taking this as a major campaign. So I kept asking and asking and I didn't find anyone doing it or wanting to do it or interested. So uh, for some reason, I don't know why, I just kept going. Why, I don't know. So one of the things I did was, I said, well, how am I gonna get kids to do moment of silence? First, I have to get a school to do moment of silence. And then if the principal agrees, then the kids will do it. So I said, how am I gonna get to a principal? I don't know any principals. Weren't, so you, said, weren't you a teacher? I was a teacher. Yeah, I was a teacher for a while in public school for about a year and a half. You heard what he said right there, right? Mm -hmm. He said, well, hold on. He said, why? He, he said, he said, why can't you? Uh, no, what, what, this is what I'm going to say. Why couldn't he answer that question directly, right? Because there's an agenda behind this, straight up. All right, now let's get into the lesson. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Sham, Rekaha Kwadash. Double honors to the men who rule well. And we, we all know who they are. All right. Healthy Shalom, to, of whom I learn from each and every day. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. We're going to dive into this just a little bit. All right. Now, uh, the inspiration for this video is my daughter. You know, she just came home from school, right? And uh, she was telling me. That she, well, I mean, you know, not, I don't want to get too personal, but in a chorus, you know, she sings or whatever, you know, all right. In chorus, they have got them singing uh, ish songs, right? 1948 or songs, right? And, and, I, and I sat back and I asked myself, you know, I was asking myself this question, just analyzing what she was saying. And why on earth, why with a public school, this is a public school now, right? A public school. Which every Tom, Dick, and Harry goes to, right? Why would they have them singing uh, 1948 or songs? It sort of pissed me off. All right? They did the same shit last year. All right? Now, without being too loud here, whisper it in my ear. Come here. Tell me what this, well, tell me what the song is called. Oslosha. On, on Oslosha. 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 Uh, hold hold on a minute. We're gonna look this up together. Give me one moment. It's sort of impromptu here. All right, we gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make this make sense because these ish people, man, they're a bunch of liars and they have their hands all over the place. It, it, this, the scriptures tell you at the end time who's gonna be ruling, who's gonna be in charge, and who's gonna have the dominion over the earth. It's Esau, Edom, right? It's Esau, Edom, and Amalek is what the head tribe of the Edomites. All right, so let's go here. See if we can. Type this in. What what is it? What is it called again? Aloha. Aloha. Okay. Hey, do you know how it's spelled? Sorta. 
All right, let's do it. Let's do it like this, because uh, I want to see what this is saying. So, like, it give me one. Does it start with an A? Hmm. Okay. Go ahead. S H one. O. O L. Okay. Ah, uh, slow. Ah, uh, slow. Ah, uh, shola. Ah, uh, shola. Right. Okay. Let's see what this is. Um, song. Private school. What is this? Okay. Let's see. A uh, slow. Uh, school. Interesting. Anyway, song. Hmm. Because I'm very interested. The slower. I don't know what the hell. You, you see the end of. Oh, this is this like some African shit. Here. Okay, you can type it in. Salakia. So hey, just uh, yo, bear with us, man. I'm trying to understand exactly what this what this means. Because she's she uh briefly went into it and she said something about. Yeah, it's it's always some kind of peace and safety and love and you know uh, easiness and and all that. Nah, nah, nah. Matter of fact, here before I have her type that in, I'm gonna read this scripture right here. All right, because you see the influence with these uh this that video that I played in the beginning here. You see the influence on these uh, these 1948ers have on the on the uh, public schools, man. All right, and it's the same thing. It's they, I think they call it what the the uh, school. The prison pipeline. Look at the similarities. The lunch trays look the same. The uh, the institutions that what they call them, right? Look exactly the same. The the regiments, the things that they go through and do every day is exactly the same. Man, they got the children pledging allegiance to a damn flag. They got this. They got. They got these. They got. It's, I'm slocky. It upsets me. Really pisses me. I really I wish I could get my children in private school, but I, I'm not in a position for that. Remember, we under the curses, right? But let's say let's say it again. All right. They got them pledge allegiance to a flag of the United States of America. We don't pledge allegiance to no damn flag. We pledge allegiance to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by worshiping, worshiping, worshiping him. Right. Yeah, uh, the, Yahweh, the father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. All right. That's our allegiance. And the scriptures go into it. Let's read Jeremiah 8. In verse 11, before I have you type this in, all right? Matter of fact, here. Give me one moment. Here we go, baby. Type it in on this phone right here. All right, type it in on that one. All right, let's read this. Jeremiah 8 and verse 11. For they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace and it, these are the same people all right these these school teachers and all that man they have an agenda too all right and there's a whole there's a whole lot of ish and 1948 -er teachings all up in public schools it's always been there it's always been there now oh yeah she got it typed in all right very good i slow my device what i can't even, i can't speak yiddish it don't roll off my tongue correctly Call hello, you how about Shimmy? I was shot. Anyway, you know, I remember, uh, you know, back when I was coming up, you know, in elementary school, they taught this dumbass uh, 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 diary of Anne Frank. Now, what what education are, is anybody gonna get out of reading the diary of Anne Frank? You know, not to mention the scriptures go into it and tell you. you know, I'm just gonna, uh, I can't stop. I can't stop. I won't stop. This is Revelation two and verse nine. Red letters. Uh, Big brother, how was I speaking? Right. I know thy works. And tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Talking about us, we are rich. How we rich? In in faith. It's a gift given by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. We are rich in faith. We are rich because we have what the, uh, the promises. You know, it tells you that in uh, in the book of Romans, uh, uh, Romans of uh, the ninth chapter. You know who are Israelites who are, who are given the promises, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, all that. That's how we rich. All right. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are J-E-U-U-U's. You already know what it is and are not but of the synagogue of Satan. Right. And that's exactly who they are. They are the damn devil. The Bible speaks of. And you saw what he said. Now, uh, uh, again, what what the other dude said with the big the big small hatter <laughs> sitting to the right. 
You know, that clip I played before, he said, I can't answer that question directly. See, that's, that's they control the narrative. All right. He never really answered the question, but then he went straight into, I, I, I want to see how we can get. <laughs> Salakia, damn. Give me one moment. He said, I want to see how we can get all the schools and everybody to do this. All right. Even in my daughter's school, they got him uh, talking about a moment of, of silence for what? And we all know what it's for. You know, talk about them six million. Right. Talk about them six million. All right. Give me one moment. Damn. Stay tuned. Hey, hey Salakia for that. Yeah, I had had a, you know, shit happens, man. I had, you know, I had something to do. Anyway, let's continue on. First Thessalonians, five and verse three. I'm trying to, you know, continue on with the, uh, the, you know, the narrative, not the narrative, but the the theme of this video, which was inspired by my daughter coming home telling me singing this damn song. Matter of fact, she got it pulled up here. All right, let's see here. Um, what'd you go to? You went to videos. Let's just go to web. All right, that's all it shows is videos. Here, let's play a little bit of it. Lyrics. I don't want to hear that bullshit. <laughs> you know, I just don't want to hear it. Let's see. All right, lyrics. Lyrics in English. All right, because they're going to show some Yiddish bullshit. Um... If I can find it, I'm not sure if I can find it or not. You know, you just just total, total impromptu. Uh, Reese limit resource. What? They don't they don't want nobody to know what this says. All right. But anyway, I don't I don't even give a damn. I really don't care. First Thessalonians five verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travaileth upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right. So the song my daughter was telling me, you see, you was talking about peace and love and all that. Right. Which how about some y'all shy? If you knew what love was, you already know what it is. All right. You should know what love is that we keep his commandments. Correct. All right. But when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. And that's what they're teaching up in these schools, man. All kinds of madness. Again, the diary of Anne Frank, you know, that really pisses me off. Really does. It really pisses me off. Then you got this dude right here. I typed this in. Uh, scholastic books. You know, if anybody, it, we should know that scholastic books is the is the, uh, the the you know the publisher, if you will, the the book people that make each and every one of the textbooks in elementary school K through twelve. Right. Let's go back. So I looked up. I wanted to see who the owner was, and it's not going to give you the owner. I guarantee you, one hundred percent, it's a nineteen forty eight or a group of them. I guarantee it. Right. That's why I played that first clip. So this dude, let's see, Mr. Robinson is what they call him. Richard Robinson. Let's go to Richard Robinson. And we'll see if he's a 1948 or he damn sure could be, right? Richard Robinson, 1937, oh, 20, uh, to, uh, through 2021 was named president of Scholastic Incorporated, right? NASDAQ, it's, it's all there. All right, in 1974, chief executive officer in 1975 he was elected the position of chairman of the board in 1982 under mr robinson's leadership scholastic has become the world's largest publisher of distributor of children's books they say children's books but no it's actually the textbooks it's the thing it's the the regiment that they're teaching in schools when really it should be a uh, 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 reading uh, arithmetic and uh you know and that's it and, and, and they teach history but they only teach they're part of the history. You know, they, you don't go back to the 1400s or, or whatever. All, all, all the black people were slaves and that's it. Right. They're not going to let you know what's going on. That's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put us here to, t uh, to, you know, profess to the world who we are and how we are to get up out of this situation, which in fact is Yahweh Shai coming back and destroying this place. That's how it's done. All right. That's what the prophecy says. And that's what's going to happen soon. Come anyway of children's books, a leader, lead, a leading provider of print and digital instruction materials for pre-K to, uh, to uh, grade 12. You see that? All right. So it's this dude right here. I see a producer of educational and entertaining children's media. Mm. 
All right, with annual revenue of one point six billion dollars. That's B. That's B for billion. That's a lots of money. All right, and more than eight hundred. 8,000 employees worldwide, worldwide, right? The company distributes one of, of every, one out of every three children's books purchased in the United States. Wow. That's a third. And I, th I think it's more than that. This anyway, you know, that's, that's why I'm reading this. Uh, through the school based scholastic book club and book fairs, right? <laughs> Instructional programs, nonprofit partner. Uh, retail outlets and online. So let's look up Richard Robinson. Let's see he if he's a ish. I uh, wouldn't. You know you can't put it past these people, man. All right. Let's see Richard Robinson. Let's see if he's one of them faux aiders. A foe to the aider. Let's see. Uh, chief chief executive. Let's see celebrities. Uh, let's see what this says. It's like it's just a total impromptu. It's just, uh, no, that's not what I want. All right. Let's see, let's go to Wikipedia. He's an American businessman, scholastic. You know, bear with me, Salaki, for this. You know, for this. But I want to see. He looked like a damn foe, a foe aider. Born in Pittsburgh. I don't. Oh, he died. Uh, so, so who? Wait, well, hold on now. Salaki. Let's go and see. See, it's giving me Richard Robertson, but his ass is gone. He he is dungeon. He's in the spirit world. Let's see, Scholastic Corporation. Um, is an American multinational publishing. Okay, who owns it? Uh, book fairs. Created by Norman uh, Brindwell. Oh, whoa. Well, who's this Norman Brindwell? Well, look at there. All right, was an American author, uh, cartoonist. Best known for creating Clifford the Big Red Dog. You, <laughs> you remember Clifford the Big Red Dog? If you're old enough to remember that, you know. To you young cats, it was a you know Clifford the Big Red Dog. Anyway, you see Norman Ray Brightwell, right? That that's a uh, I think that's a 1948 er name. Anyway, I'm straying way too far off the lesson here. All right, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon, two and verse twelve. Therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn. Right? That's what they say. And he is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraideth us with our offending of the law, right? And objective and objecteth to our infirmity, the transgressings of our education. Did you hear that? Of our education. And our education, our manual, our education is what? In the Bible. This is our education. But up to them, you know, when it comes when it comes to them, you got that moment of silence. Hey, daughter, uh, he was going into that moment of silence. I may dig a little bit deeper into that and put that, you know, in the first clip here. But do they, do they even tell you what the moment of silence is for? Kinda. Hmm. 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 Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, you know, but the 1940, but you saw that, right? That small tic tac hat. He's the one who implemented this throughout the whole country, and he wants everybody to do it. And there's a, there's an agenda, there's something behind that, straight up. You know, they transgressions of our education. Okay, so lock you. Person detected at driveway pain. Ain't no telling who that ah. is. It's Joel three and verse two. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of decision, Yahweh Shapat, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and parted my land. Who did that? Same people. Person Damn it. At entrance camera. I, I, I cannot get this lesson in. You know, same. Who did that? Same people that are uh, now teaching uh, our children or having, uh, you know, other Edomites teach our children about their bullshit, sing their songs right, and, and all that. Right. No, that's all right. Just my old lady coming in. My old lady. All right. And as you see, verse three, and they have cast lots for my people and have gotten a boy for. Uh, and this is talking about Tyree and Zidon, the ha them damn Hamites. All right. But who they who they uh, sell them to uh, Esau, eat them, man. Who ran who ran the slave trade? The damn 1948 ers who, who funded it? You see that? That's crazy. All right. And they have cast lots for my people and have gotten given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. All right. Simple and plain. I read that already. All right. I just, I just got a couple more. I'm going to make it too long anyhow. Hebrews 12 and verse 16. 
Lest there be any fornicator or a profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. And this is ultimately what they're trying to get back is their birthright. And they can't do it. All right. They've been trying ever since they everything is he sold it. They sold it. They're trying to get their birthright back, but it's not going to happen. Verse 17, for ye know that you see, for ye know that afterwards, when he had would inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. A bunch of damn crybabies that do oral circumcision. It's disgusting. La -da, da 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 with all the joy of their hearts, right? You already know what it is. See? Slock you. Ooh. Matthew 15 and verse 9. It's red letters. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And what? The commandments of men. I got one last one right here. You know, I just wanted to bring it out. Hopefully it was edifying. I know it's sort of all over the place here, man. But, you know, just, just to let you know and to give you the gist of things that's going on out there. And Amalek and Esau Edom has his hands in everything. All right. And they want our children. They want to, to uh, teach our children. They, uh, they want to tell them, give them their narrative. And, this, and you know, hey, me and my household, we're not having it. They unlearn that shit. They learn in school. Again, all they need to know is arithmetic and, uh, uh, and how to read, man. And, you know, other than that, we go, we, we go, I got them. You know, it's my household. You got something else that you thought of? I see the wheels turning. All right. Exodus 20, verse 3. Thou shall not, thou shall have no other gods before me. Simple and plain, right? So it, that's, you, you remind me, that moment of silence thing and, you know, for the veterans and for the, you know, you really know what it is. It's for that so-called six million, man. But, I, you know, I digress. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Sham, Rekaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the men who rule well. You know who they are, who I, whom I learn from each and every day. Healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Hey, much love to you. Much love to you, man. And hey, never forget, man. Hey, uh, keep these children. You know, hey, the scriptures goes into it and says, train up a child in the way he shall go. And that was actually the perfect scripture right there. Train up a child in the way he shall go and he will not depart when he gets old. Right. And, th and that's that. Again, hopefully this lesson was edifying. Every chance you get, chant this place down. I can't stand this place, man. May Yahweh, why Yahweh, shall destroy it soon come. All right? Every time. Every time. Shalom. Boom. <laughs>